on guys, DJ here, coming at you guys with a brand new video. In this video today, I got a very exciting one for you guys. I'm going to be installing my brand new On3 67mm uh, ceramic ball bearing turbo. As you guys can see, I got my 61mm journal bearing already off the car. And then here's the 67mm On3. Kind of weird right now, but you can see there's a huge difference. But, um... We're going to be doing this in the garage today, guys. So we already got the the wastegate off because we're changing two of the primary um, O2 sensors. What we're going to be doing is instead of modifying the manifold, we're going to keep the manifold the same. And we're actually going to cut off the V-band flange from my 61 millimeter. And we're going to be welding this one onto the 67 millimeter so that we can just bolt the turbo right off the manifold we already have right now. A little bit of a mess, but we just left the wastegate sitting here and the exhaust just still sitting here because we, we just changed the O2 sensors last night. We said we'll just leave it like this because we're gonna be putting the new turbo on tonight. I'm not only just putting the turbo guys on, I am compensating for the bigger turbo. I am installing the port injection from BMP. So I'm also gonna be adding a whole lot of more fuel and we're gonna be putting the bigger turbo on so you know we can crank up the boost guys. So it's gonna be really sick. This video is gonna be really interesting guys. Over here. <laughs> not a bad cut, not a bad cut. For the positioning over here, uh, we're tight. He yeah. actually had to cut into the turbo guys in order to get the, the blade to cut through uh, the back side. What are you alley over here? Are you swing every other word? Oh, sorry. <laughs> what is that, half inch thick though? Quarter inch? Yeah, that's pretty thick. Push it up a little bit, but... It's gonna raise the turbo up, but maybe we might be able to fit it. Maybe it might poke out a little, we'll see. But um, we're gonna clean this up and then we're gonna get it prepped for alley to weld it onto the new turbo. Back part, unless you want this back part. <laughs> I got the front side of the turbo, Did guys. You hold this right up on the run? Hit me up guys if you need this 61 millimeter journal berry. Hit me up. Do join 54 on Instagram. No one will want something you do a lot when you're welding pipe together so you can get full penetration like you build the layers up so it's, it's pretty fun <laughs> What size is this? I think it's a 1 8 MPT or 1 4 MPT, something like that. I don't know. Yeah, double check. And now we just finished up. Just test it in to see what it looks like. Yeah, fuck it. You could do like a weave on it. It's not too bad. This has to be an even gap
collection kit from BMP guys. So already got it open here. And um, in this plastic bag, they give you everything for the wiring. Down here. And then they give you all the instructions as well with it. Here's some of the lines we're gonna need. They give you uh, new bolts and studs for your intake manifold, so you don't have to use your old ones. And the thing I like about the BMP2 guys is they also give you new gaskets too. Uh, I know some port injection kits, I can't remember the name, they don't include these. Guys, you have to use the bolts they give you because the original ones are too short. Actually. Oh yeah, that's why they give you se separate bolts guys, because these are extended for the manifold about half an inch guys. One inch, one inch sorry. But there it is, the BMP in, uh, port injection guys, the rail, with the 750cc injectors. The reason this kit is better than others guys is because they use the factory BMW OEM intake manifold gaskets. They're a lot thicker than the other kits. Programming uh, the port injection at the very end. And then inside it, we got, comes with the installation guide. And here's the split second controller guys. AIC1 additional injector controller, split second. All the wires you need here. It's gonna require some soldering and tap. So guys, first thing we're gonna do, install the T-fitting provided. Precision Raceworks T-fitting. Um, it's gonna go right here, between your high pressure fuel pump and uh, the supply from the tank, from the low pressure. It's gonna just clamp on right there. It's gonna be easier if you have the fuel line mover tool. I forgot it at the shop. I should have brought that. Where's my nuts? You wanna see the studs extended. Drop that. What's the difference? Let me see it. How much longer there? Wow, it was actually quite a difference. Just question every single little thing he does. Oh, buddy, I love you. <laughs> I think you're putting too much force on it. Yo, you need to shut up right now. So now that the port injection rail is installed, we have <clears throat> everything plugged in. Yeah, I think there's four. Yeah, four cables. Um, I know the black one's gonna be going to the ground. The red one, I believe, is gonna be a switched battery volt source, 12 volts. So we're probably just gonna put it to one of the terminals, the main terminals over there. And then um, I know the green one, one of them goes to team up, I think. Team up and the other one is injector pulse. It's coming diagram. Yeah, sorry, one of them is team up, the other one is attack signal. So RPM. Uh, we got the fuel diagrams. It's gonna go to pin 21 on the gray connector on the ECU. We're gonna tap that in. Um, the team up green, green is for the team up. It's gonna go into pin 10 on the large black connector. I don't know if you guys can read this. And we then, but, but yeah. anyone has questions, we can send it over yeah. to you. And then, um, as for everything else, yeah, you can just put the ground to the chassis and the 12 volt, 12 volt power source to anything that's switched on and off with the key. Our last wire, red, this is gonna be the power source. You want to. If you guys want to put the, the red power source wire to a switched battery uh, source, so that means you don't want to put it somewhere like here that's constantly getting voltage. You want to put it somewhere that gets switched on and off with the key so it doesn't drain your battery. So we're going to be tapping into this green connector here, one of the orange lines. Um, specifically pin number, let's see. over here it's an orange wire either side but uh, our JV4 is already tapped in there as you guys can see we got this little connector in here I'm just tapping in after the JV4 in the orange wire right here I'm just gonna solder on this red power cable I'm not no electrician Just getting the new fittings put into the turbo. 
As you guys can see once again, there's the flange alley welded. The old 61. The wrist kit is on. We just got the wastegate on, guys. This puts out the controller. We got the intake manifold on, all bolted up. The auto body hooked back up, charge pipe hooked back on. Now we're just gonna get working on this turbo. Fitment. We just checked the hood and it does fit with the cut that we have. So um, now we're just bringing, we're gonna tighten up the exhaust and then we're gonna get the turbo clocked properly and should be a couple of final things. And then we just gotta get the split second programmed and that should be about it. So now that the turbo is installed, we got the front cover of the split second controller open so we can get the file that I have here. I have a custom port injection map, but in order to upload my custom port injection map, I also have to put the CD that came with the split second kit. Thank you. 